Hello, my name is Jonathan Biznet, and in this video I'm going to uh, show you a circuit using an IGBT, an isolated gate bipolar transistor. I used it as a switch in this case, and what I'm doing is driving a couple of lamps based on the resistance across an LDR, a light dependent resistor. Uh, the IGBT is actually a transistor that's, that consists of both a FET and a BJT. Uh, the FET is the input that will drive the base of the BJT so therefore you get the uh, uh, the high impedance input you get out of a FET and it's voltage driven but you get the uh, the quicker switching and the higher current that you're going to get through a BJT for your outputs. So the circuit that I've put together here The circuit I've put together here, let me move this around just a little bit so you can see it a little better. Uh, basically, I'm driving, I'm driving the circuit off of about 21 volts in this case. Uh, and you'll see right after that is kind of a voltage divider process. Uh, the... Uh, the LDR at the lower end of that and it's depending on how much light is falling on it depends on the resistance uh, that it uh, puts together and therefore that will be that will drive the voltage that's at that junction that is connected to the gate of the IGBT and of course you see the two lamps in the collector uh, uh, circuit and then uh, it's connected to ground. So as I uh, reduce the light over the LDR its resistance will increase which will raise the uh, the voltage at that junction basically raising the uh, the voltage at the gate and once it hits a certain point the IGBT will turn on and as it does it'll turn on the lamps. Uh, when you're looking at the uh, Looking at the data sheet for an IGBT here, this happens to be the one I'm using. Uh, as you scroll down, you'll see down here, right in here, this is the uh, the gate to emitter threshold threshold voltage, and what you'll see is the the min, the typical, and the max voltages. So this should turn on somewhere around five volts. So what I've done in my circuit here is uh, I've got uh, I've got a um, I'm sorry I've got a multimeter up here that's showing us the voltage uh, right there at that uh, junction, uh, and we'll need for it to hit just about five and a half volts for this. Uh, in fact, as I adjust the light here a little bit. We'll need it to hit like five and a half volts to uh, turn the IGBT on. Uh, over here, I've got a, another multimeter that's uh, showing me the voltage uh, across the uh, the lamps, and then of course uh, you can see on the uh, power supply we have just shy of 21 volts. So anyway, the way this works, you'll see there's two lamps here. And then we've got our LDR, and as I, uh, as I uh, my hand here, closer and closer, you'll see there's a point where all of a sudden they'll come on. Just barely. Now the interesting part is, this is actually incredibly sensitive. Uh, as you'll see up here, we got uh, 4.8. So as I go down here, and bring bring my hand in here. Let me uh, go back quite a little way so you can kind of see this. I don't have to totally get over the thing to get it on. Just barely start to get my shadow close to it and you'll see it comes on. And in fact if we go up here and look we're at about five and a half volts when we do that. It uh, And it's interesting how sensitive it is. I mean just barely, just a quick movement across it will uh, We'll do that. In fact, I was noticing as I was playing this 
before that uh, potentially even just the slight shadow of a pencil will cause it to fire. So it's actually uh, uh, a very sensitive circuit in how it, uh, how it works. But anyway, I will include the uh, schematic for this uh, in the uh, comments about the video. I uh, hope you uh, find it interesting. Thank you.